everyone. Hope you're all doing well. We're on to day 10 of trying to get on top of my never ending to do list and I had opened a can of worm for myself. I'm starting this video with these two boxes that you're seeing right now. I had taken them out of the shed. They had a lot of clothes in them that I still hadn't unpacked. Some of them, well, quite a lot of them still had tags on. I know, I know the minimalists out there would say if you haven't even looked for those boxes in the last two years, you don't even need them. But I can't just throw everything away or give it away without even going through the clothes. And the problem why I say I opened a can of worms for myself is because I had actually actually forgotten them outside in the garden and it had rained and most of them were now soaked so I had to wash everything even if I want to give them to the charity or whatever I do with them I have to make sure that they have been washed and this is also a reminder for you if you are donating clothes please make sure that you give them a wash beforehand because most places don't wash clothes that have been donated so if they are soiled if they have any stains chances are they will go straight into the landfill and I didn't film myself washing the clothes. I managed to do all the colored ones first, then I did the white, and I still have probably about three loads of the black ones or dark. They are mixed, but the very dark colors because it is quite a lot. I don't think I'll be able to do them in two loads. That's been left for tomorrow. And my plan was while I'm dealing with all of these clothes and giving them a wash and dry to tackle all the get ready for school stuff, wash the kids' bags, get their lunch boxes ready um, in terms of the actual lunch bags being washed and their jackets, everything, make a list of all the stuff that I need to buy. Like if there are any stationaries, I know that they need new shoes. Bibiana and Harris are joining the hockey team, so they need hockey sticks and Harris needs a mouth guard. So I know that there are a few things. The problem was I couldn't find my um stickers in particular the iron-on stickers for their uniforms and that completely threw me off. I went into a little bit of a panic mode and I was thinking no I can't get school stuff ready if I can't label all of their belongings, if I can't label all of their uniforms. I know that there were still things that I could have done like iron all the uniforms and check if I have all the correct sizes, if anything has gone too small even though I had decluttered uniforms back in April. My youngest is growing super fast he's only five but he's wearing seven-year-old clothes in terms of like uniforms and mainly pants and i still had hand-me-down uniforms from harris and because they have completely different body shapes he can't actually wear his stuff so i know that there are definitely a few that i would still be able to um, donate to the school. They sell them during the different fairs we have. I know that we have one around autumn time and around the harvest moon season. Then we have definitely the Christmas fair where the school, the PTA sells a lot of used uniforms. So they're always looking for donations. I just want to quickly mention I just showed you a stain on one of the pillows. If you saw day nine when I was actually cleaning the putty or slime or whatever they could put on the pillows and the blanket on the sofa, I used white vinegar and then hot soapy water to try and loosen it up. Then I sprayed it with um, just a vanish stain remover and I didn't know if it's going to work. I know that the white vinegar has always worked for slime but this wasn't slime. This was a colour changing putty. I think that's what it's called. It's, it's similar to slime but it's a little bit more gooey. I think it's like stickier. <laughs> and um, yeah, I wasn't sure if it's going to come out but it has. There is a very, very faint stain left on um, the blanket and there is that small stain that I showed you on the white pillow which at this point I'm perfectly happy with because I know the next time I can just bleach it but there is no more slimy residue left on there so if you ever find yourself in the same situation white vinegar definitely helps loosen those things out of carpets and clothes and 
different fabric. And now that that's done, back to my drama with the labeling stickers, the name stickers for school. Because I couldn't find them, I was in a bit of a panic mode. And in normal circumstances, I would have completely torn the house down, just completely raided it and gone through everything looking for them just chucking things around creating a much bigger mess than i originally started with but nick was at home and he just looked at me and he said well you have plenty of other things to do it's okay you can wait you don't have to get the uniforms done now maybe once you tidy up you'll be able to find them they have to be somewhere around the house and i thought okay okay i can relax i can I can try and look for the stickers. Then I also spoke to a close friend that I met through this channel and she said the same thing. She said, don't worry, we still have a week until the kids go back. You can always order new ones if you can't find this. And I had to reason with myself and say, okay, for the first few days, even if I can't find the stickers, I can just label things with a Sharpie and just write their names and it's not the end of the world. But I'm so grateful that I had that support and I I had this channel because without the channel I would have gone and made all that extra mess and not focused on anything else because in my head I was hyper fixated on no it's uniforms day to day and I have to find the stickers and I would have just swiped everything off the desk in the playroom covered the floor in paperwork and just gone around raiding the house trying to find the stickers my worst nightmare would be if they are mixed with some of the toys that I still have in the shed that I haven't gotten out. So yeah, I have no idea. The plan is to sort out all the paperwork in the office tomorrow. Not in the office, in the playroom. <laughs> I'm getting confused now on my old desk that the kids are now using as their study desk or they're supposed to be using it but it's covered in stuff so the plan is to sort that tomorrow hopefully find the stickers and get all the uniforms ready and here is your reminder if you're a UK mom and your kids are due to start school next week make sure that you get all of your school stuff ready in advance don't stress yourself out the last minute imagine if this was done and like well next Tuesday the night before they go back to school and I don't have my stickers that would have been a disaster but anyhow because I couldn't do what I originally planned to I continued where I left off a day nine I had separated everything into clothes toys and paperwork and after I had dealt with the clothes in day nine if you saw how disastrous this room truly was today I managed to deal with the toys and dust off one side of the room so now most of the room is done I put um the covers everything back on the sofa on day nine I washed it if you haven't watched that that's why I was that's what I was doing at the beginning of the video and the last thing I have to do is go through some of the bookshelves and the desk which is covered in all sorts of paperwork and a lot of rubbish I'm sure there is a lot of kids can't even call it art whatever it is and there are a few more things that I need Nick to hang up and fix the Swedish ladder that we have on the side um, one of the bars came out which I'm very disappointed with because we bought it for them for Easter they haven't even had it for that long I'm not sure what's going on there but I'm gonna have to um, get him to fix that as well and this room would be completely done I do need to shampoo the carpet as well because it is a playroom having a very light beige carpet in here was probably not the best decision the kids are always always making i don't even know what they get out and how they make all the stains in here but um, i'll probably leave that until they go back to school because at the moment especially now they've just been cleaned after they hadn't used it for a week i know that it's just gonna be pointless like I can't wash here with them walking around all the time so I'll leave that when they go back to school next week the weather is still 
very reasonable for the UK. It's actually quite warm, so you should dry very quickly. And I know that this is not like a big clean, that is not the most motivating type of clean, but this is for the people who have very nagging tasks on their to-do list that they just keep procrastinating and living on. If I can get myself to deal with the toys today, I'm sure that you can get up and do one of the things on your to-do list that you've been putting off because you just don't want to face it and believe me i didn't want to face these toys normally if you watch my videos you know that the kids are responsible of cleaning their toys and they do a very good job but because we had a lot of play dates there were just a few mixed toys small toys and that's when my kids get confused they're really good at taking a toy out and then putting it back like for example if they play with their shop they'll take the shop and everything that goes along with it they will play and then they'll put it back but when things come out of different boxes then they get confused and they have no idea what goes in which box and I understand that it's difficult for them we do have to do a huge huge toy declutter because I realize they have insane amount of toys and if you have followed me for a while and you've seen the video when I try to clear out the shed you know that I still have quite a few bags and boxes full of toys in there so I will have to go through everything but I would need definitely Nick and the kids to help me out I am sure that the kids are at the stage where they can tell me if there is something they don't want anymore if there is something they're happy to give to other kids to give um to school or to the charity they are quite good at sharing so I don't think that would be a huge problem and Nick is very much cutthroat he's not like me he if it's up to him he'll probably throw half of the house away <laughs> so um I would definitely need their help but before that I need to get everything else sorted and just know that my schedule is clear and I have only the decluttering to do because at the moment even though I have gone through most of the house I still have things like washing the carpets and shampooing the sofa I had seen a few little small stains in the living room so if I now will clean away too often but little things like that really annoy me I have that thing where I can see a big mess of clutter and things thrown around and completely ignore it but a small stain of like a fingerprint on the wall will, will just get to me it will annoy me it will be the only thing I can look at and I wouldn't be able to focus it's not a fun living with a neurodivergent brain but it is what it is and I'm trying to get better. I'm trying to improve myself in different ways and I am truly, truly grateful to have your support. And a mental note to myself, don't do voiceovers after midnight because you are delirious and you're making no sense. I hope this video inspires you to tackle your own to-do list. As always, it was a great pleasure spending the day with you. I will play some music now and I will see you in my next one. It's 2 a.m. and I can't fall asleep Cause I'm not tired I'm thinking about the days we used to shine When we were young I told you that we should start a band And reach for the sky It's 2 a.m. and I can't fall asleep I'm just not tired I can hear the raindrops falling
you're alone You're on my phone, running game But maybe, baby, when it settles in That you're to blame We could move on Pick up where we went wrong Baby Everyone gets hurt That's how we learn to make love work 